seven to nothing here Duke University leading North Carolina stay tuned now for fast break an interesting look inside all basketball Wheat First Securities brings you Fast Break with Billy Packer. I told you Fast Break would return to visit with these two referees, Lou and Charlie. Any game being worked by Bellow and Ekman, especially in tandem, was a treat for many fans. I'll be back to relive some of the old days along Tobacco Road after this word from Wheat First Securities. Many people think of Wheat First Securities as basically a brokerage firm, which is fine. That's a large part of what we do. But sound investment counseling goes way beyond stocks and bonds, so we offer other financial services, like insurance, financial planning, commodities, and tax shelters. There's more than one reason to give us a call. For sound financial advice, talk to Wheat First. Lou, what do you think about the three-man officiating? I really am in favor of it, Bill. Not only is there more men, every other sport has added officials until this year. Basketball, it's needed. The fast break. The average college player is, is in his early 20s. The referees are 40, 45, 50. So it gets the good coverage and what the coaches all want nowadays, to play off the ball. I finally have realized, after all those years of refereeing, the play off the ball. They're setting the blocks, setting the picks. They were getting away with that. There's no question about it. We were watching the ball. I think they improved the mechanics. It's really going to improve the game. It's great. The pros have even adopted it. And today, with these three referees, they got a symphony going on out there. They got, let me tell you something, Billy. They could put five referees out there. And if they can't referee, there ain't nothing going to happen any different. They're going to have the same old garbage, the same you choke, and they're in their usual profanity and the stuff that goes with it. Last night, they had a play. The kid drove baseline. The guy's under the forward, the referee. And it goes by him. Now, the guy in the middle of the floor, I don't know what he's supposed to be doing, but he's looking in there, too. The guy from the back, he calls a phantom foul. I don't know where the hell he got that foul, right? But he gave it a toot, and that brought Sloan up 14 feet in the air. Now, he ain't even near him. Now, if he'd have been refereeing two men, he'd have been over there having the play come to him. But because he has three men, he has a tendency to lope. And he said, well, it's going that way. And he saw the other guy didn't do nothing, so he, he gave it one of them. I said to myself, ain't this awful. <laughs> Now, Charlie, let me, let me be honest, though. The game has changed. The guys are playing 90 feet all the time. If you don't have three guys, how are you going to get there? Let me tell you something, Billy. That whistle slows up 96 guys. They could play 450 feet. If I get tired, I'm blowing that whistle. <laughs> I got to travel. I got something going on out there. And if I'm getting that tired, I don't belong out there. But at 90 feet don't mean anything to me. I ran for years. My ankles hurt. And with this game today, tonight, I can referee any game in the ACC with three men. If he gives me that foul line to foul line, he don't need to worry about no problems getting out of hand. I'll take care of the situation. The toughest call to make. Billy... When you were playing, and in my day, charge and block. But they made it easy if you hit the man with your body. You know what the toughest call is now? And it just came in as I was finishing up. Everybody is so big. There's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The hands around the basket. Interference. Uh, basket interference. Uh, grabbing that ball, batting it away on its downward flight. I think that's the toughest call now. I don't think there's any question about it. I think they're going to have to raise the basket. And they will raise the basket. You know, we talk about mechanics in uh, refereeing. <laughs> you know, the perfect mechanics, the dre proper dress code, uh, the hands, the movement. How about, how about your mechanics? Well, when I did the charge call, Billy, I would give him, and you hit him, and I'd, and I'd go all the way. The other night, I'm watching a ball game, and a referee went like anyway. Whop, he hit himself on the head. I thought he was going on the floor. The poor kid, he went down the floor stumbling. I said to but myself, that's the proper way, though. What? Oh, is that proper? He's going to be goofy before the season's over. If he gets many charge plays, this guy's got to go to the funny point. He's got to be a nut. You know, Lou, your buddy Charlie, favorite sign was the old hitting on the head, the old, the old charge. Yours, great one, was the run. Oh, yeah, you know, see, Charlie was built so close to the ground, he loved to do that. But I had him beat. I would give him that like that, and I give the Groucho. The Groucho marks low and up and down. Groucho, <laughs> charging, traveling. To the other end of the floor. <laughs> Always. Oh. I want you to watch this play right here, All right. Now, okay? And, and when it's over, I want you to tell me, you right. know, what, charge or a block. Right. All right? All right, what do you think? Well, I think it was a charge. It was a charge. Yeah, no question. No doubt in my mind. Now, Lou, take a look at this. The charge and the block. Tough situation. Now, I was a charge official. I love the charge. I give him the bucket. But that one, there's no question. The player got in front of it, moved in front. It's a block. It's a block, Billy. Block. Now, how about this one? It's a little different situation. I think you could have called that a block. To the block. 
A block. Okay. No question. Well, no question, but it, it, I made it look like it was no question. Now, well, let's take a look at that tough call, the charge in a block. It was the toughest call in our day. But that one right there, there's no question about it. It's obviously charge high old silver. For all the changes in the ACC officiating since Charlie and Lou moved on, some things have remained the same. Basketball officials still have a difficult job, and few of us would switch places with them. I'm Billy Packer, and this has been a Wheat First Securities Fast Break.